Hello and welcome to this video tutorial for DT Register 2.7 uh, Permissions Management. What we'll be doing in this video is going through the the brand new permission structure added in the 2.7 series that allows you to uh, be very specific as to what user type or what specific user is able to do what functions on both the front end and the back end of your DT Register setup. You can see here I'm already on the back end of DT Register. I can access this page um, from the DT Register control panel. You'll see it's not uh, in the submenu here to get to the permissions, but from the control panel you'll see a permissions button. This is only accessible to super admin users on the back end. Uh, and that, that structure is hard coded in. Uh, the super administrator by default on install has permission to do all of the available features. Uh, the only thing not given or not marked by default is the first one, which is edit own event only, um, which keeping that unchecked will allow the super administrator to edit all events. Um, of course, any of these items can be modified. Uh, so what we'll do is I just want to show you here, you have each of the Joomla user types um, from front end to back end users um, and you can specify for each group uh, what they can do and again this applies to both front end and back end I already mentioned what edit own event only does um, if the user is set to be able to edit events uh, if this box over here is checked that means they will only be able to edit their own events uh, and then create events and publish events, obviously um, self-explanatory as far as uh, just the ability to create new events um, and whether or not you can unpublish and publish events, um, edit existing events, and then whether or not the user type can create or edit categories, uh, create or edit additional fields, uh, create or edit discount codes, um, create or edit locations, um, edit the configuration. This is the main configuration that's seen on the back end only. Um, so you can specify who's able to modify that. Uh, the mass email, which is the email registrants feature that can be accessed right here um, to send emails to current registrants. Uh, the create pay options or edit pay options. Uh, if you want to specify if the user is able to get into your payment configuration or not. Um, so within that uh, you specify those on a user type level but then as you can see down here at the bottom there's a individual user named. Uh, you can load individual users and give them permissions specific only to them. Um, so here I have this user already loaded so I could go through and and mark what items I want that person to be able to do and it actually would not make a difference what their user type is I'm saying this person has the ability to do whatever I say here despite what their user type is so that would be a way maybe to give uh, permissions to the to a whole user group but maybe give a little less or a little more permissions to an individual user uh, and then if you want to get rid of a user on the list you can click the little X icon and that person will be removed. If you want to add them, you hit the add user button. You will get a drop down selection of all the users on your site. You can select one, click add, and you get the message they've been added successfully. And here you see the user again. Um, so that's how you use the permission structure, which gives you quite a bit of control over the management of DT Register on your website. And then from there, of course, you can. Uh, after you make your changes, hit the save button to apply those changes uh, or the control panel to get back to everything else. Uh, if you have any other questions or need assistance with this, hit us in the forum or log a support ticket. Thank you very much.